This is a tutorial on how to prepare your dialog to finish an edit. You can see here we've got uh, an edit with stereo tracks going, but there's clearly uh, nothing in the second track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to go into Modify and hit Stereo Pair. And once I do that, it will delink one track of the audio so I can zip through and delete that track. I don't need that extra audio, unnecessary audio. So what needs to be done with the dialogue not both going. With the dialogue edit is you need to start by checkerboarding tracks. Checkerboarding means taking every track and drop it down so that you end up with what looks like a checkerboard. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either checkerboard so that every time there's a mic position change you move your track, sorry, you move your clip to another track. Uh, or what you can do Get a round up cattle. is have every track a new character, which can be helpful for the mix. So we start with the master shot here. We go to her track. Track three becomes this guy's track. Back to her. And then this guy can go to his own track. Then we go back to her track again. Sorry, this guy needs to go to his own track. We still have the sense of a checkerboard as long as there are no holes. If there were a hole, say for instance, if we, kick, if we went into here and were to create a hole, We need to also go in and fill all these holes in. Well, we've got a piece of audio here, which we could copy and paste over to fill in that hole. So we've got to make sure there's no, there's not going to be any holes uh, throughout the dialogue as well. Okay, so we've, we've checkerboarded the tracks. We've gone and we've filled whatever holes we need to. Now what we need are little tiny overlaps between each of these um, uh, clips every single clip so what I'll do is I'll click on the edge of the clip and I'll add in two frames and I can just type in the number two see it shows up here and I add two and there we can see it's added in two frames then I go to this clip and I go minus two bring that back two minus two now what, is, what this is doing is it's creating little overlaps. You've probably heard in some of your edits before, uh, little clicks and pops as the playhead is rolling across the audio. That's because in digital audio, at the head and tail of, of clips, you'll end up getting um, little digital crackles. So what I'll do is here is I'll go and I'll grab a crossfade, but rather than making it one second, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make it two frames. So your crossfades and your handles need to be two to five frames so that when you go in and add these little tiny fades, uh, you're going to have a nice clean edit. It's going to sound very smooth and you won't hear any clicks and pops. That's what these little fades are going to be for. Now you ask, well, what happens if I add two frames here and suddenly I'm into somebody else talking? Well, if that's the case, then just go back here and add four frames the other direction. So you still end up with two frame fades on either side. The goal of a dialogue edit is to make this Make the dialogue as absolutely smooth as possible. So if you didn't add any extra ambience or music in, it would sound like a complete film. So we've checkerboarded, we've added handles, we've added little fades. Uh, we've, we have filled in uh, any of the holes in the dialogue. The other thing to do is to automate. And I think I'll show you automate in setting your levels in another tutorial.